time we're going to do a problem dealing with rates of performing work. And let's read the problem. It says uh, it takes 12 hours to fill a water tank. It takes 16 hours to drain the same water tank. So how long will it take to fill the tank if the drain is left open? Well, not something you'd want to do, but let's say it's a good problem. Let's uh, draw a little picture of it. So let's say we, um, we have a tank and a drain. So I want to fill the tank and that takes, let's say, 12 hours. And if we want to drain the tank, that takes 16 hours. And um, how long does it take to do it, to fill the tank when the drain is left open? All right, how do we start on something like that? Well, there's only one way. There's this excellent equation that says rate to fill it times the time that it takes to do the whole thing minus the rate to drain it. Now, of course, we use a minus there, not a plus, because the drain is not filling it. The drain is actually emptying it, so we're counterproductive there. So we have to subtract that from the portion where we're actually filling the drain times the time that it takes to do the whole thing equals the whole job done. All right, and the rate, well, let's see here. If it takes 16 hours to drain the tank, oh, let me start with filling the tank. If it takes 12 hours to fill the tank, what is the rate of filling the tank? Well, that means you could do 1 12th of the job in every hour. So the rate would be 1 12th of the job done every hour times the total time it takes minus the rate to drain the tank. Well, it takes 16 hours to drain the tank. That means 1 16th is the rate to actually drain it. So 1 16th of, uh, of the whole job done every hour times the time equals 1. And now we go ahead and solve the problem. Now we have fractions. That means we have to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator. And what is the lowest common denominator for the numbers 12 and 16? Well, one way to figure that out is you take 12 and you divide it by 2. That gives you 6. Divide it by 2 again. That gives me 3. So what I've done here is I've taken the number 12 and I can write it as the product of its primes. So 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. I can do the same for 16. Take 16 divided by 2. That gives me 8. Divided by 2 gives me 4. Divided by 2 gives me 2. And I can write that 16 is the product of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or, again, I wrote 16 as the product of its primes. Now I look at every product and I find where the prime appears the most times. Here, the number 2 appears 4 times, and here it only appears twice, so I can ignore that. And here the number 3 appears once, and it doesn't appear at all there. And it turns out that the lowest common denominator, the LCD, is equal to the product of all the primes where they appear the most. So in this case, it would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So that's, of course, 16 times 3, which is 48. There's my lowest common denominator for the numbers 12 and 16. So that means I'm going to multiply the left side by 48, multiply the right side by 48, 12 goes into 48 exactly four times. That means I get four times t. And 16 goes into 48 exactly three times. That means minus 3t equals 1 times 48, which is 48. Now go ahead and combine like terms. On the left side, 4t minus 3t is 1t equals 48. And oh, that's it. That's the answer. The time that it takes to fill the tank when I'm also draining it at the same time is 48 hours. There you go.